Uh, hello there. Once you receive the Google Sheet form, the page will be like this. Now click on the make a copy. This will create a make, make a copy of that remainder app form. As you can see, this is a demo one. So you can rename, replace it with a remainder app. And this is a whole script actually. This need a document name. That's the name of the, the document you need to get the reminder for. And here comes the expiration date. So that's going to be in a format. That's a record field. And that, this is a field that we actually going to use for when sending up, uh, sending out the email. Here it's a uh, optional field, but uh, for my case, I needed that one. Here you can add more details. What's the real use case of this reminder for this event then you can also use the next tab here comes the when to remind it's going to be 30 days 10 days or one day these details we are going to get to a spreadsheet i'll show you in a second the settings here you need to collect the mail address so i usually do that for my client project it's like verify in that case you get the Google's uh, verified email always and on the response side so here do you get the verified one I would always add the allow response editing so it's, it's like the person who is creating this reminder can edit it after or edit it later I think that's it and here next we have to go to the response tab oh before that I can preview this you know what's going to ha happen this is like code this email document maybe it's a domain name with the expression so it's always going to be the future date 31st may and notes this is for this is for makeinfo.co may me in 10 days that's a good thing after this you after updating the domain you can edit this form later that's good then comes to now we have the responder detail here i'm going to show you how it's going to save to a spreadsheet so click on this link to sheets google is going to create a google sheet that connects with this google form click on the create button now you go this detail here you get the response the form response is happening on this google sheet make sure that you're getting the timestamp the email address the document name expiration date and notes and also the the date when when to remind in dates now wh what you have to do is click on the extension here so this is where we are going to copy paste the script attached to the to this package click on the app script now it's going to uh, open a code editor inside the google sheet it's a google uh, spreadsheet now here let me copy paste the script that from gumroad and I'm going to show you how you can set up the that script in a second. Okay, here we go. Just replace it, this function, and paste it. This is the whole script that you just need to run this remainder application. Basically, this is the welcome email subject. There's a welcome email body. You can, if you want, you can update the HTML, this value from this website. I mentioned this website that's it and another one you have to make sure that is the spreadsheet id so how you can get this id is go back to your screen spreadsheet and you have to get after that d slash get the whole string so that's the id for that spreadsheet so copy that one and replace it with the new id here this is the function i created for sending the email when there is a form submission also make sure that the value here is email address this has to be case sensitive and similar to the the value here then this is the whole functions doing the expiry the detail and if you come back the, there is a values that you just need to know if you're going to customize this script you should check the values correctly here there is a document name there's an email address so it's going to check the email address at this 
particular point and uh, it's going to check the date this is the date value and when it comes to here this is the email subject that going to happen this is the email reminder for a document expiry and when it's a selected day so usually it can be 10 uh, 31 uh, or you can add more on the later stage but the value has to be from here select a day then this is the email body that's what you're going to send and make sure that you have the I had a function that you have enough daily quota for the sending out the email so make sure on that so that means Google has a particular daily quota for sending emails from AppScript. Always check on that. Now I'm going to so save this uh, create it as a reminder script. Now I'll show you how you need to make sure that you have the permission to run this script. Click on the spare reminder cron button. See you need the permission to authorize script. Click on the review, click on the profile, the con and it's going to show like this a uh, unverified one because it's not in the Google's verified list so you need to click on this is a normal Google script you have to click on the go untitled project yes and you can see that what we are using say Google sheet spread access and sending email now these all are needed for this so then click on the allow button it works and you can see that the script is running there's no issue here now go back to the go to the triggers so this is a trigger page like you have to uh, you have to add two triggers here the trigger is that when someone submit a form so this is that on form submit this is the function you have to run select the type on form submit this is going to run this function it's going to email the person that oh, this is the automatic mail saying that you created this script add a submission to the script save so I got some error uh, saying that there is a pop-up blocker let me check in my Chrome I have to allow the pop-up to run the script make sure that's done click on the save again select the call advance go to reminder script make sure that this is the details this is the form submission that so this is needed because we are doing the form submission click allow again nice now you have a, a form submission trigger added to the, your triggers list now another one you need is this is the count job that this is a function that to check all the nine days day. now you have to go to the time it's going to be a time driven one I usually do on the daily so day timer and I can pick up the time 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. That's what that's when I do usually the triggers and click save nice I have two triggers happen. I can try to show you the, the email submission one. Let me let me do that from here. So click here just talk one uh, then I'm going to do that for first now this is let me pick all and click submit now I will show you in my gmail the recorded details so this is the details I got this is the email the program we wrote sending the uh, automated notification this is automated so no pre not automatic thank you make it 14 now you got it similar to this you will get the the cron job line based on your of selected date like if it's a 30 days if it's a 10 days or one day based on the criteria it's going to send you an email that's pretty much it and you can also see the executions on the execution tab make sure that that's working and if there is any error it's always show that error this tab i hope this helpful thank you